Welcome back to the Game Day Video Preview with Daryl Clark. It's Week 8, Penn State heading out to Northwestern this Saturday. Daryl, before we get into that game, welcome back. And Thank you. Uh, Thank let's, you. let's talk about last week's game against Purdue. What, do you, what, do you, what did you think of the game? I saw a lot of consistent play from the offensive line for the second week in a row. Good to see. And Silas Red is becoming a big-time running back to be reckoned with in the Big Ten. The defense, lights out. Four turnovers. They did what they had to do to get the win. Yeah, how about Silas Red? 402 yards in the Big Ten through three games. That's pretty impressive. Absolutely. I mean, the guy is running in between the tackles. He's running on the outside. But the offensive line is starting it for him, and he's finishing a lot of the plays and helping out the quarterback pretty well. When the offensive line is playing like that, how much confidence does that give not only Silas Red but the quarterback as well? Gives a great confidence. Gives those guys great confidence because they know they don't have to pass every single time. You know, when in doubt, we can run it, and Silas will get a chunk of the yards back in whenever, whatever situation they're placed in. At the end of the day, 3-0 in the Big Ten. Absolutely. 6-1 rolling. Who knows what happens? Who knows? Daryl, let's talk about Northwestern. 2-4 and four on the year, 0-3 oh in the Big Ten, but I certainly feel like there's more talent on that team than their record indicates. Let's begin with the defense. It's a unit that's given up a lot of points, 121 points in the Big Ten, additionally 429 yards a game. What do you see in that unit on film? Well, they, they don't give up the big play, but they give up a lot of things up underneath. Run plays, pass plays, and they're kind of a bend-but-don't-break type of mentality on defense. Uh, unfortunately, they give up a lot of yards and a lot of points. And with Penn State coming in, that could be a problem for them. With those numbers in mind, how do you approach the game if you're the Penn State quarterback? As a quarterback, you're very excited with the weapons that you have on offense, both running and passing. You can open up the playbook, have that go-getter attitude going into the game. Let's move to the Northwestern offense, a two-quarterback system. Dan Purse is the primary guy, veteran player, completing 74% of his passes. Backup Kane Coulter, who does a little bit of everything. Caught six balls last week as a receiver. He's the team's leading rusher. Also takes some snaps at quarterback. What do you see in Northwestern's offense? You have Dan Purser, the veteran of the offense. He's doing a lot of good things for that team. Um, the passer, if you will. Then you have Kane Coulter, who comes in as more of the runner. And you can also flank him out as a wide receiver. So with both those guys in at the same time, could propose a problem for the defense. I talked, to, I talked to Danton Lynn a little bit about this yesterday. Northwestern's offense is a unit that likes to throw those short balls short and, and kind of take chunks down the field. Mm -hmm. How do you do? How do you deal with that as a defensive player? Well, you have to be patient. Be patient. Uh, pick and choose your battles. You know there may be an opportunity when a corner like Danton or Steph Morris or Amos, where they they may be able be able to jump a route and make a big play with a, a interception or whatnot, and just keep the guys in front of you and don't give up the big play downfield. They should be okay. Knowing Northwestern's offense, how they move the ball down the field, could Penn State's offense be the best defense? I think so. I think so. We just have to continue to convert on third downs, which is what they did pretty well last week. And field position is a big, big key for this week. Let's move in to talk about Penn State. Nanny Lions are 6-1 and one heading into this week's game at Northwestern. What are some keys that you feel like is important? Let's begin with the offense. Well, I think they have to continue to run the ball. They've been doing it really well for the past two weeks. So build off of that. The red zone goals are still hanging around, so I think they need to buckle down and get some more touchdowns and field goals. How do you do that? We've talked about this every week, every but week. It, it's continuing to be a little bit of a, an issue with the offense. How do you put the ball in the end zone? You know what? I think now I think the team just needs to focus on a certain amount of plays, perfect them on the practice field, and do whatever they can to translate it to the game field. Man. Let's move to the defense. Obviously, turnovers have been a big part of their success. 17 turnovers on the year. Only had 17 turnovers all of last year. Right. So let's talk These about the These guys are keys. ball hogs, man. I mean, I think the main thing for those guys is to get after the quarterbacks. Whenever the opportunity is there, blitz those guys, make them throw the ball when they're not comfortable, and they should be able to get off the field on third down. What about the special teams play? Anthony Fair has been great kicking field goals. Big punt last week to pin Purdue deep in their own territory. Chaz Powell had a big kickoff return. Justin Brown had a good punt return. What about the special teams? As you can see, all those plays mean a lot for the entire team. Punt returns, kick returns, the field goals, the punts. Everything matters. Continue to do what they've been doing, and they'll be just fine. Darrell, this is the only night game of the season. 7 p.m. kickoff, 6 local time out there. How do you stay focused as a player? Obviously, it's a long day at the hotel. You've been yeah. there before. What yeah. do you do from when you wake up at 9 a.m. or earlier mm -hmm. to stay focused throughout it's the day? It's tough. It's real tough. You can't leave the hotel. So I think the main thing you have to do, make sure you have enough energy. Uh, watch the other football games that are on TV throughout the day. Study your playbook, your keys for the game. 
so you stay in that football mind so you're not lethargic come game time. You had a lot of success in night games. How did you stay focused? Did exactly that, you know, and just, just, just stayed on the straight and narrow and made sure that uh, I was ready and made sure that, that the other guys were ready as well. Daryl, what's at the top of your list for what Northwestern needs to do well to walk away with a victory on homecoming? Their defense has to tighten up and uh, help their offense a little bit more and stop Penn State from scoring a lot of touchdowns. Talk about Penn State. I know I've said this time and time again, but until it happens, they have to focus on scoring in the red zone. Goal line. Touchdown, Penn State. Thanks for joining us again this week. Daryl, I think it's an important game. Penn State 6-1 and one, heading on the road this week. A big game against Illinois next week. What do you think? I think it's going to be a big test for Penn State going on the road this week, so we'll see what happens come Saturday. For Daryl Clark, I'm Tony Mancuso. We'll see you next week on the Game Day Video Preview on GoPSCSports.com.